In this video, we will see how to convert integer data type to decimal data type in SQL. So, we will be seeing two methods using two different functions in SQL. Before that, why do you want to convert an integer data type to decimal data type in SQL? Let me show the limitation and why we want to convert the same. So, we will simply divide 2 by 5 and let us see what is the result that we are going to get. So, we are going to get the result as 0. But we know that 2 by 5 is not 0. It is 0 0.4. So, this is not correct. So, what happened here is, so since both 2 and 5 are integers, the result is getting rounded to 0. So, that 0.4 is not at all getting considered. So, similar cases, in complex queries, we might get confused and we are not getting the right result but the problem might be only thing we have to do is we have to change the integer data type to a decimal data type and then we will get our intended result. So now let us see the two methods using which we can convert integer to decimal data type. So the first method is using the cast function. In the cast function the syntax is like cast open and close the bracket and inside the bracket we will put the value value means value can value can be value expression or some column name this will be converted or casted to decimal data type so decimal so instead inside the decimal we have to specify the precision and scale so this is the basic syntax using which we can convert integer to decimal let us convert the same thing or 2 by 5 into the decimal so what we can do is we can cast to as decimal so we have to specify a precision and a scale so what does a precision mean is precision means it refers to the total number of digits in the value that is when we convert a value to decimal so we will specify the total number of values that should be available in the decimal number and the scale is the number of digits after the decimal point so precision is the total number of digits and scale is the total number of digits that should be available in the decimal part so here we will give us 7 and 2 so what it tells is so it tells the cast function to convert 2 as a decimal with 7 as precision and 2 as scale which is 2 points will come after the decimal point so now if we run the query we will get 2.00 see now it is converted to decimal and what we can do is we can divide cast 5 as decimal and we will use the same precision and scale 7 comma 2 now we will get a different answer compared to the previous result now we, if we see we can see that we have 0 0.4 0, 0. there are so many zeros because we have, if we specify this entire function inside a cast function we will get the required number of uh, precision and scale now we haven't done that we have only specified the integer to decimal conversion for that 2 and 5 separately we are getting this result so if we want to limit this result as well we can use cast so here this will act as the expression comma uh, sorry not comma as decimal so total can be 7 and 2 now we'll change it to 4 comma 2 because here it will specify the total number of digits should be 4 that is precision and 2 digits should come after the decimal point now our expected result is 0 0.40 now let us see what is the result see our result is 0 0.40 so this is how we convert integer to decimal using the cast function the next function that we are going to see is the convert function now let us see the syntax for convert function. So syntax for convert function is like convert, open and close the bracket. The first argument is the data type. After the data type, it is followed by a comma. Then after the comma, we have to specify the column name, value or expression. So it can be any of the three value, either a column name can be a single symbol value or can be an expression so let us convert 7 divided by 3 into decimal select convert 
open bracket, close the bracket, inside the bracket the first thing is data type. So we will convert into decimal 4, 2. So the precision is 4 and scale is 2 followed by a comma. Then the value is 7 divided by convert decimal 4 comma 2 which is followed by comma and the value is 3 now let us run the query and see what is the result now we got 2.3333 so without this the result will be 2 select 7 divided by 3 now the result will be only 2 that decimal part will be completely ignored but this should not be the case because 0.33 can make huge impact while doing good analysis so exactly we want two numbers after the decimal point we can use again a convert function there are other methods as well but since i am using convert and cast i am using the same here so the first one is the data type so here we have to specify the data type so decimal 4 comma 2 precision and scale followed by a comma and after that this is the expression then close the bracket now we will get 2.33 so this is the expected result and that is the output that we are getting so these are the two methods by which we can convert integer to decimal and this can be very useful and the same cast and convert function can be used for other conversions as well to other data types Thank you.